Hey guys, welcome back. Last lecture we started with asynchronous code and in this lecture we'll continue with promises. And I will show you a wireframe first. Here is the architecture of our promise. So as before we will call our get secret documents from index.js. This will call our function in the car service and this function will return promise immediately to our index.js. But remember, there is an asynchronous code that will be executed after two seconds. So you get your response after two seconds, your data. In a real scenario, you can get your data, but it's not guaranteed. You can get the error. So if you get your data, you will call callback function resolve. If you don't get your data, you will call reject callback function and this will update your promise and your data in your index.js. Okay, so this is a nice diagram, but I want to show you this in a practice. So let's go to your coding editors. And here let's create a new file. So inside of our base folder of a project, let's create a new file. And let's call it promise.js, just like this. Okay, and now let's go to browsers. And here let's navigate to this URL. And I will include this URL inside of the resources of this lecture. And this is a very nice article how to build promises. This article is from Trey Hufne, so thank you. And here is a very simple implementation of a promise. In our real examples of a React and Angular applications, we will use official promise library, which is much more difficult and harder to understand, but principle and functionality is almost the same. So we can copy code from here and this code is also included inside the very source of this lecture. So let's copy everything just like this and let's navigate back to our coding editors. And here inside of a promise.js let's paste everything, scroll up and I just want to change name promise simple just for a promise like this. Okay and now go to carservice.js. We need to import promise here. So up here, write const promise equals require and promise is outside of this folder. So we need to write dot dot and a slash and now promise. Just like this, okay. And scroll down here and find get secret documents. We can remove this let, we don't need it. All right. And also this return secret docs. And you want to return here promise. So return new promise like this. And you need to provide here callback function. So write here arrow function just for a change like this. And inside callbacks resolve and a reject. Perfect. And now I can write our asynchronous code here. So let's copy this set timeout. And let's paste everything in this promise. Just like this. Okay, so after two seconds, this code will be executed. And I don't want to call this callback function anymore, but I want to call resolve here, this callback function. And we can remove this callback function from here. Amazing, let's remove it. And leave it like this. Perfect. Let's go to our index.js and here we can remove this callback function because now we are not providing callback function here. Like this, okay, perfect. And check one more time our car service here. This, we are returning promise, setting timeout and here we are not creating variable. So we should write here let, let secret docs, just like this, all right? Let's go back to index.js and let's run this. But first let's put here breakpoint. Debugger here and run this. Okay, let's go inside. Here we are in a get secret documents and we are returning a new promise. So we are creating instance here. Let's get inside and error here. Okay, promise is not constructor. So let's check promise.js, scroll down and we are not exporting promise. So right here, 
module.exports equals promise, just like this. Perfect. Let's get back to our index.js and let's call it one more time. Let's get inside of a get secret documents. Here we are returning promise, get inside, and here we are in a constructor and we creating promise chain array, handle error, error of an empty function. And here we are binding context of this to on resolve and on reject functions. Okay, this is not very important right now. But here we are calling our function set timeout with on resolve and on reject function that are specified here. Okay, and let's get inside of this. So now we are getting inside of a set timeout, and this will be called after two seconds. So for var this, okay, after two seconds I'm getting here and I'm resolving this secret docs here. So this string super secret documents don't share. So get inside of the resolve. And this is this callback in promise on the resolve and a value here I'm providing super secret documents. So let's see what will happen. And here is a promise chain and promise chain is empty. So we will not get here any values to our index.js. See, okay, this, will, this was executed, everything nice, but index.js is without a value. So what we need to do to get the values here? Let's go back to promise.js and let's scroll here and you can see here then function. And here you are providing some function, callback function and you are pushing this function to promise chain array here. You see? And when you resolve here, you are iterating this chain of the functions and you are calling them. Here I'm iterating function here is this function, iterated function, and I'm calling this function with a value I got here. Okay, so let's see it. Go to index.js, and here I will write dot, then, and as I said, let's write here callback function. So arrow function like this, just like this. And here we should get our value. So super secret documents like this. And let's console it log out. Console log super secret documents. And let's run this code. All right, one more time. Here we are getting to promise constructor calling execution function, which is our function here, this callback, and calling set timeout after two seconds. We are getting here and calling the resolve, which is a promise code. And here we are getting on resolve with the value of a super secret document. And now it should work because promise chain, as you can see, there is something there. So let's see this. Let's forward this. And now I'm calling next function, which should be our callback function from our then. So let's go inside. And you can see I'm getting back to our index.js and I'm getting my value here. Amazing. So this worked just perfect. I like it a lot. And this implementation here is super easy. So you can debug it and you can play with it and you can really learn how promises work in a nutshell. And here is also catch. You can write an error here as well. So I will show it to you. Let's go here to our index.js and I can catch error here. So after then, here I can write a dot and a catch. And let's provide your callback function. And here I will get error. And I want to console log out this error. So what I need to do to get the error here? Let's go to our car service. And instead of a resolve, I write here reject. Okay, and let's see this. Let's run this code. Let's go inside. As before, I will go one more time through this execution function after two seconds. 
we are getting here and calling now reject. Okay, so let's see it. And now on reject, calling this handle error, which is our function from index.js. See it? And here we are getting error, super sticky documents, but we really should send here some errors and not these super sticky documents. But this is how it works. So let's go back to our promise.js. And I really hope that you understand this. It's not very difficult code, it just it takes time to really, to really understand this. So just play with it, debug it, and console log out informations, and I'm pretty sure that you will understand it. So guys, that's it for this lecture, and this was a very interesting topic, and in the next lecture I will be talking about observables. So see you there.